This is our Stole Evergreen Sweet Corn Patch. You can see how tall it is. Al's 5'11", and it's about twice as tall as him, the tallest ones. So, But it is harvest day for this sweet corn. We're about to go through and pick all the ears that are ready, and we'll come back and show you what we got. But we picked four ears for us to eat the other day, and it was delicious. So, hoping for a good harvest. As we're pulling the corn, Al's going ahead and taking the loppers and cutting them off. We're not going to pull them because it pulls out all that good root system. We're going to leave that in the ground, build better soil, leave a place for the worms. It'll break down. It'll just feed the soil. So we're just cutting them off as we're harvesting the ears. Then we'll come right back and plant something else. I just found this guy mid-harvest. He's going to be Big Red's breakfast. Who's going to... Whoop. <laughs> well, I don't know if I even caught that. That was mighty quick. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? That's all I got, babe. Green corn was. We went through and picked all the ears and then cut the plants off, cut the stalks off of the ground. And you can see how many weeds grew in this patch. Very, very few because we had it mulched heavy with hay and grass clippings. And we are leaving these three stalks to go to seed because this is an heirloom variety so that's why we left these three plants and now we are going to go back and plant the next crop this is the pile of corn stalks that we cut down out of the garden and we will chop these up and put them in the chicken pen the chickens love to dig and scratch through them and they eat whatever's left in there whatever bugs are on it so this will be a treat for the chickens and this is what we're about to plant in the patch where we just pulled the corn. We pulled our stoles evergreen and we went ahead when it was getting close to time to harvest the stoles evergreen. We went ahead and started our next planting of corn in flats. And people have said you doesn't transplant well, you can't start it early in flats, but we've done it and it works well for us. And because we have limited space, we didn't have anywhere else to plant additional corn. So if we want to do another rotation, this gives us, we planted these about three weeks ago. So this gives us a three week jump on our next corn harvest. So we weren't sure when we planted the stoles if we would really enjoy it or not. And we know we love Silver Queen. So this second planting of corn is Silver Queen sweet corn. So now we're going to take these flats and transplant them into the patch where we just pulled the other corn. And this is the corn we harvested today. And we had, we originally planted 121 plants of the Stoles Evergreen. Then um, seven died, so we had 114 plants. And I haven't counted the ears yet, but after we get them cleaned up, shucked, and ready. I'll count the ears and come back and give you a report on how many pounds of corn we got off those plants and how many ears we got. So back in a little bit and show you what kind of harvest we got. We've planted three rows of our Silver Queen. And just want to show you what we're doing. These are the old rows that the other corn was on. And we are just pushing aside the mulch. This is the old corn stalk, just right beside it. Digging a hole. Putting in the new. And when we're done, we're going to go around it with some black cow, and some blood meal, and some azomite, and then we'll just push this old mulch up. So that's what we're doing. We planted two flats of the Silver Queen corn, and we have one flat left. We planted this whole patch, transplanted out the Silver Queen, and we planted 100 plants. So 
so we have some left over. So what we're going to do with the rest, or some of the rest of that flat of Silver Queen, these onions are ready now, so we're going to pull the rest of these onions and then plant some of that corn in this raised bed just to see how that works. All right, and just planted this raised bed with some of the additional Silver Queen corn plants left over in those flats. So hopefully this will be a good producer. It's good rich soil in here. And we have 31 plants planted in this raised bed. Chickens enjoy. This is the corn we've already shucked. Some pretty batches. And this is what we have left to shuck. And the chickens are having a party. That is a pretty one. You can get some nice ears out of this, guys. Red likes it. Go away, Red. <laughs> Red's hot. Okay, so this is the results of our Stoll Evergreen Harvest. We started out with 121 plants. Seven died. So we had 114 corn plants. We ended up for usable ears with 109 ears and a total of 35.42 pounds of corn. And some of the ears, you know, we threw away the culls. We um, gave them to the chickens. So, but these are the usable ears. And we got 109 usable ears off our harvest. And the area that we planted in was a 10 by 20 foot area. All right. Thanks for watching.